Back to Reddit. Subreddits used to get feedback from others about your looks have been around for a long time. In these places, people post pictures of themselves hoping to get honest reviews of how they look or possibly advice to help them look better. But apparently, these sorts of subreddits have one glaring issue. They're just not objective or honest enough for some people. So, r slash true rate may swooped in to save the day. First off, I have beef with these kinds of rating sites in general, because there's no such thing as a real objective rating for anyone on the planet. People have different types all the time. Even if a person's appearance completely disgusts one person, it could enamor another, so what's the point of slapping a number on them, right? There's no situation in which everyone on the planet would rate someone the same. None. So the idea that someone could just be classified as a 4 or a 6 or whatever the hell, it's stupid. You don't need me to tell you that. But True Rate Me takes a completely different approach than the other sites. Even though all the rating sites are idiotic, they manage to streamline the idiocy with a new system. Now, people can't just comment their opinion about how attractive someone is, even though that's how attraction works. Some people are attracted to some people, some aren't. That's life. Everyone has someone who will be attracted to them. Life goes on. That's what's realistic. But True Rate Me isn't realistic, it's subjectively objective. I say subjectively objective because they are the only ones that think they're being objective. Everyone else realizes that they're actually just insane. How they operate is with two objective scales, one for men, one for women. And quick side note, every time I say objective, I'm doing furious air quotes. You can't see it, but I'm doing them. But these scales are supposed to provide an objective way to rate everyone who posts on the subreddit. So, when someone posts, you look at the pictures, then you go through the scale and the guide and provide them with their objective rating. If it really was objective, you'd think you'd just be able to do it to yourself, but again, that's logical and it doesn't belong here. The guide to these scales is completely insane. For example, apparently the ideal nose for a woman is one with 106 degree nasal tip rotation. That's right, not 107, not 105, 106. Why the fuck didn't they just round to 105? I don't get it. And you want feline hunter eyes or feline innocent eyes? Nothing in between. And you can't have asymmetric nostrils or else no one will ever date you. Because these ratings are so bizarre and strict, women are essentially all rated within the same 4 to 6 range. This girl was rated at least a 7 by one guy, and then he got a warning for overrating. You'll see a lot of shit like that today. Because what seems to happen is if a commenter has an opinion, they get a couple warnings, then they get banned. But if a moderator has an opinion, they get to ban anyone who disagrees. The mods don't even explain anything either. They don't say, oh, oh, she has negative cancel tilt or any of that other meaningless terminology. They just say, oh, review the rating guides and primers. It's like being told that you're wrong in a debate and then instead of citing anything, they just tell you to Google it. Except worse, because this isn't remotely objective. Again, a girl being rated fairly low, even landing a 3.1. Do you know what happens when someone rates a 3.1? Nothing! But if someone were to go even one point above what other people are saying, they get permabanned. One thing you'll notice about True Rate Me is that even though women will be rated consistently average or below average, men will nearly always be rated highly. Just another little tidbit that shows the misogyny on this subreddit, right? Like this post. This girl is attractive. Not that subjective to say. She is not ugly by any means. I'm not going to throw a number on her appearance, but she's not unattractive. So why are there 4.7s flying around? 4.3s? One dude called her homely. One guy said 7.6. You want to know what happened to the guy that said 7.6? He got permabanned from the fucking subreddit. That's like if you're at the bar and a guy comes up to you and says, Hey, you're pretty. And then the guy gets shot in the head because lying isn't allowed in this bar. Men's posts are also much less likely to be commented on. Probably because most of the people on the subreddit are men and they all flock to the women's posts. If you look at the posts sorted by which ones are getting a bunch of comments, you will see that the overwhelming majority of posts are from women. So... You would naturally assume that most of the people on the subreddit are women. But, if you sort it by new, meaning that the amount of interaction that the posts got has nothing to do with whether it's being shown or not, you'll see an overwhelming majority of posts from men. 
probably because the men don't like to raid the other men. That doesn't give them the same feeling of power that they get from raiding women. There's a reason for why we see a solid amount of sexism on the subreddit, though. I came across something from a former mod for the subreddit not too long ago, revealing many, many things about the whole thing. From this person, we get a lot of insight into why the sub was created. At the very beginning, there were a bunch of incels who just wanted to make people feel shitty about their appearances. They began by invading the other raiding subreddits, raiding women incredibly low and insulting them just because. But they ended up being removed from all these subreddits. So... They started their own space, which became True Rate Me. The founders of these subreddits regularly referred to it as something they could use to encourage people to kill themselves based on a warped self-image, calling it possible suicide fuel. Completely fucking insane. And to do this, they delete ratings that are too high, but leave ratings that are too low. Since girls don't actually post too often on the subreddit, they take photos from other rating subs or from women they know in real life and pretend to be these women to give the illusion that more women are on the site than there are, giving a sense of security to people who are considering posting. They also often choose these women to actually be nice to, so people think, oh, they're not mean to everyone, surely I'm just a disgusting piece of garbage. There's substantial evidence of them downrating too. There have been multiple occasions where people post pictures who are given as examples of nines on their official scale, but the community sends them into the sixth domain anyways. So it's not about their bizarre fucking rating scale, it's about a genuine hatred for women and a need to see them insecure about their looks. On the off chance anyone watching this has ever posted on there and gotten a bad rating, Please know that it means nothing, literally fucking nothing. The sexism isn't even hidden a lot of the time. Here's a guy basically telling a girl that she'd be prettier if she smiled. There's at least five of these comments on every single post where a girl isn't smiling. Haven't seen any under a guy's posts. How much more on the nose could it possibly get? Not to mention the second an Asian girl posts. All that is mentioned is that she's Asian, par for the course on Reddit. Based on your face and body shape and Asians not being super common in my area, you'd probably be a 6.5 out of 10 here. <laughs> She's not a fucking rare commodity. She's just not white. Shut the fuck up. And by the way, this guy got a warning for overrating anyways. This guy basically just said that he can't tell Asian people apart. There was no reason to say that. Genuinely none. Even a guy just saying 6 got a warning for overrating. This one drives me fucking insane. After someone rated her a 2, someone came to her defense. I think 2 is too low. The 2s in the guide are almost disfigured, and a 2 would cause a revulsion in most people. This young lady is not revolting. At all. I rate you a 3.7. Wow, man, you, yeah, you're really a fucking hero. I commend you. I genuinely thought this was a troll at first. It's so insane to have people pretending to defend the people being raided while still raiding them because giving them any raiding is dehumanizing and stupid as hell. And 3.7 is still low! So obviously this whole place is fucking hellish. It's filled with racist sexists, and I sincerely hope that it gets ridiculously restricted or taken down soon. Reddit, moderate your fucking site. Alright, thank you for watching all the way till the end, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, you know the drill. Thanks for being here, and have a good one.